today we are going to do traditional Greek lamb. It is super delicious, super easy, super brilliant. With all the supers, let's get into it. The Greeks are famous for many, many, many things. But the thing that they are the most brilliant in is lamb. Let me tell you, they knew a thing of 25 when it came to lamb. My word, forget all the other brilliant things that they did. Just the lamb makes them superheroes. Well, that's in my world, let that be said. We have a 4.6 pound piece of lamb. The easiest thing to do is cut it into chunks. Don't worry about the sizes, should it be this size, that size, just go wild. You don't need to worry about anything, it's just a simple cube of meat. The reason why you want to put it into individual cubes is for flavor. Why for flavor? Because each individual piece is going to be full of the flavor instead of just having the flavor on the outside. And the other benefit is you don't need to cut it at the end. It's all done for you. If you have always wanted to cook lamb and not sure about how you do it, this is a complete and utter idiot's guide to pure bliss and success. Get the sharpest knife possible. It makes your life significantly easier. Once you've chopped up the lamb, the most difficult part of this entire dish is done. That is it. Okay, so next element, get some fresh rosemary. We're then going to take the rosemary, we're going to just take it off the individual stalks. We just slide it. This is going to make the lamb taste beyond awesome. Everybody will love it. Even non-lamb lovers love it. Okay, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but that's just by the way. And then get minced garlic and put in a whole chug or however much you want to put in. The garlic makes it delicious. Delicious. Okay, get some limes. Ding, ding. We're going to just cut them and you're going to put the juice of the limes take the juices squeeze it through uh, because these limes are so small we're going to use three of them now remember you don't need to have a huge amount of olive oil because the lamb is already so fatty um, we're just adding in the olive oil just for a little bit of aroma and flavor it's not for the oil so as you can see every piece of meat has its rub and it's got the thyme and it's got the rosemary and it's got the garlic and it's got all that amazing stuff in every single piece so you're going to know that these pieces are all 100 percent completely flavorful just awesome Okay, so cooking time is going to be about an hour to an hour 20 depending on how you like your your lamb um, if you overcook the lamb it's not a problem uh, why because lamb works really well when it is uh, medium when it's medium well um, it's not a problem at all so it is a piece of meat that is really and truly forgiving. Okay, we are ready. We are good to get this into the oven. Okay, let's get it in the oven and it'll be about an hour to hour 20 and it will be beyond amazingly delicious. We have 
just taken this lamb out the oven. I've just put it into a slightly different container to just make it a little bit prettier. This is magnificent. It is soft. It has got the aromas, it's got the acidic flavor from the limes. It has the earthly taste of the rosemary. It's got the hint of garlic. Look how beautiful this is. My word, it is delicious. Mm. Mm. All we can do is be very grateful for Mary having a little lamb. Because let me tell you, that little lamb is magnificent. Magnificent. This is an awesome dish to make. It is really simple. Just slice it, cut it, spice it up. It doesn't need piles of spice and piles of sugar and all this weird stuff. It is super simple, right? Like most basic ingredients. All good, all natural, all simple. Keep this dish simple and it'll keep on giving. Seriously, keep on giving. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I think I have just died and gone to heaven. If this is the food that's in heaven, take me now. Because this is killer wellness. Wowness. Mm. If I have not said it enough, this is delicious. And with that, catch you guys on the next one.